Hi friends, welcome to Kojai Linux. Now we are in the second part of the SED. We are going to learn uh, further concepts on SED. So this session we are planning to learn certain more inter interesting actions D for delete, R for read, W for write, exclamation for exceptional action. Then we are going to work on couple of options hyphen E and hyphen F. These options uh, are meant to execute multiple scripts. They facilitate us to specify multiple scripts on the command line. Okay, uh, D for delete. Like if you want to delete a set of lines from the input file, from the scope of the output. Okay, from the scope of the output of SCD, we want to remove certain lines, okay, which we have read from the input file. Then we can do that with the help of D command. If you want to read the contents of one file into another file, contents of one file into another input file. Uh, and then uh, that also in the scope of the output only. Okay, in the scope of the output, uh, okay, uh, after the input file, after the main input file, we want to read the contents of another file and uh, write to the monitor. So, there is a read command, okay, uh, read action. Then write, okay, uh, based on a condition, we want to write, okay, uh, we, we want to uh, match some lines from the input file based on a particular condition and we want to write the result to some new file. So wherein we want to create a new file with the w command. We can do that. The exceptional action it is similar to grep uh, with the minus v option. Okay. Uh, so uh, I have provided uh, the uh, URL to the uh, grep videos, videos on grep so that you can refer okay for this uh, uh, hyphen v option of the grep command so this exclamation is similar to hyphen v option of the grep command so now let us go on to the uh, dollar prompt and start working with scd in scd part 1 we learnt about line addressing and context addressing the what is line addressing what is context addressing what is the significance uh, and what is the action p and what is the action q and what is the significance of the um, option hyphen n as far as the p action is concerned so these are the concepts we learnt as a part of the uh, scd part 1 right so, uh, in continuation to that, okay, in today's session, we are going to, uh, we are planning to learn certain more actions, the action D for delete, R for read, W for write, and exclamation symbol, and certain options, couple of options, option hyphen E and option hyphen F. So, let us uh, learn these one by one. First, action d okay uh, let us take our uh, file insurance details.txt okay so cat let us take first few lines minus 30 insurance details.txt so first 30 lines we are taking so here what we want to do okay cat minus n insurance txt head minus 30 okay so we have first 30 lines from the file insurance details dot txt in this what if i want to remove the 11th line what is how scd works you know scd reads the first line from the input file okay stores it temporarily in in the buffer that is called as the pattern space okay that is known as the 
pattern space so it stores it in the buffer and then uh, it um, does the necessary action that is whatever uh, actions we have given like p or d or r or w okay whatever actions we have given so it will uh, execute that action on that particular line okay and then it would output then read the second line then perform the action on that then output read the third line perform the necessary action fourth line perform the necessary action as per the condition and the action given it will take the necessary action and then output so this is how a cd command works now let us see how do we delete okay a particular line first how do we delete a particular line then we will see how do we delete a set of lines okay scd okay uh, using the context addressing 100265 then d from the file insurance details dot txt so the line um, containing 100265 what i will do i will send the input from head minus 30 insurance details dot txt so so that we are able to verify the out output on the screen okay fine so from from among the 30 lines of the file insurance.txt we want to delete the line containing the pattern 100265 okay so 100265 where was it see after okay so this is the first now uh, here it is here is our coming not not even this so after this yes this is the one right so head minus 30 insurance details so 100265 is after was after 100264 right so now you see after 100264 100357 so the out the file is not affected because of this why file is not affected because input file is not at all concerned it will read from the input file then store it in the pattern space and then it will take the action on the pattern space and then send the output on to the monitor so input file is not at all concerned here if we want the input file to be affected then we have to do something known as in place editing right so we learnt about the in place editing option also in the in our previous class right with minus i option for the in place editing so by explicitly specifying the in place editing option we can um, see that okay the file is changed because of the the uh, action is taken on the file okay because of the scd command the file is changed that we can take care with the help of the in place editing option minus i okay otherwise the uh, change would be with respect to the scope of the output the change would affect the scope of the output not the input file okay okay so this we have seen using context addressing based a particular pattern uh, we are able to the line containing the particular pattern we are able to remove from the scope of the output with the help of the scd command right now let us see couple of more scenarios with regard to the delete command okay head minus 30 what i will do head minus 30 insurance details mini insurance dot txt okay so this file we will use it for our purpose mini insurance dot txt okay this contains the first 30 lines of the file insurance dot txt actually the insurance dot txt contains over 500 records okay so we have taken a part of it for our working purpose okay now what i want to do here let us suppose that i want to uh, delete from the scope of the output 11th line to 15th line then what i would do the cd okay 11 comma 15 d then mini insurance dot txt right so from the scope of the output it would have removed the 11th to 15th line 
How do we know that? 11th to 15th line you see. 10th line is 100264. 16th line is 100441. So after 100264, it should be 100441. So 100264, yes. After that, what is the line? 100441. So in between that whatever lines were there, that is 11th to 15th line, they are removed from the scope of the output. What if I want to remove some intermittent lines like what what I mean to say by intermittent lines not continuous lines like I want to remove eighth line then I want to remove twelfth line then fourteenth line then eighteenth line like that okay so in what if my requirement is like that then what I need to do I have to specify them separately like I need to give SCD okay 8d then okay uh, 11 11d maybe 11th line i want to remove okay then 14th line let us suppose so 14d 14th line i want to remove 14d let us suppose these three lines i want to remove from the file insurance so when i want to do something like this you now when i want to specify multiple scripts then I need to prefix each of the scripts to with the minus E option so that SCD understands that I have specified multiple scripts. SCD won't support specifying multiple scripts by default. But if I want to specify multiple scripts, I can do that with the help by prefixing each of the script with the minus E option. So now I have prefixed each of my script with the minus C option. So minus C option tells that, okay, I have specified multiple scripts. So each of the scripts should be prefixed with minus C option so that SCD understands that, okay, I want to execute multiple scripts. So 8D means what? Remove eighth line. So address, 8 is address, D is action. 11 address, D action, so on so forth. So a script contains an address action pair, right? So so this is the command you need to give uh, your requirement like this. I want to remove 8th line, 11th line and 14th line. Just uh, let us remember 8th line is 100388. Okay, 8th line, 11th line, 265. Okay, 14th line, 329. 388, 265. Okay, 329. Are they there? Just browse it over that. This output 388 is there? No. 265 is there? No. Okay. So, what were the things? 11th line 265, 8th line 388, 11th line 265, 14th line 329. Are they there? No. Okay. So, it means it has removed those three lines from the scope of the output. Okay, it has removed those three lines from the scope of the output. 8th line, 11th line and 14th line. Okay, so when you have a requirement like this, yes, you, you like you want SCD to execute multiple scripts. So each of those scripts you can press prefix with minus C option. There is another way of doing that rather than in the command line. Okay. Uh, specifying those multiple scripts and prefixing with minus C option, you have another way of doing it. Okay, what if you have to uh, not just uh, these three scripts, maybe I want to specify 10 scripts, then will you be in the command line, will you be giving all those 10 scripts? It would become a very big command line. Not only that, you may have to execute it often, then it's better to put these scripts in a file. So, how do we put these scripts in a file? It's very simple cat greater than okay mm, uh, scd scripts or del scripts dot okay del scripts dot scd something like that you can give okay you can give dot scd then you can give something like 5d 11d 15d okay 23d okay some four control D then the script is saved 
just look at the script so it contains four scripts this file contains four scripts 5d 11d 15d 23d so now how do you execute these scripts with the scd command it's fairly quite simple scd now you need to specify an option known as minus f option okay minus f option would tell that the scd scripts are not directly specified in the command line but they are in a file so read the scripts from the file that is what this hyphen f option tells to scd so scd would open this file and read the scripts from the file and execute that scripts okay so you need to specify del scripts.scd then instead of specifying the scripts on the command line directly what we have done we have put those scripts in a file and then we are specifying the name of the file in place of the scripts okay now i can give mini uh, insurance.txt so from the file mini insurance.txt fifth line 11th line 15th line and 23rd line they would be removed okay and then it will display the rest okay so that is what it does it removes the four lines okay see look at the okay see head cat iphone yen mini insurance.txt okay uh, for example we gave fifth line right we'll just check one of the things okay and then we gave i believe we gave eighth line also let me just del script start scd 11th line right okay fine cat minus n mini okay 11th line is what 100265 right okay so we'll just check one whether 100265 is there no it is not there after 100264 it is 100357 so 100265 record has been removed from the scope of the output similarly the other records that we have we have specified okay now we can do the in place editing also so if you want to do the in place editing meaning i want to remove those lines from the file mini insurance.txt those four lines okay 8d uh, 14d whatever lines we have specified over there those four lines i want to remove from the which are the lines we have specified cat del scripts right cat del scripts fifth line 11th line 15th line 23rd line okay so we want to remove them from the file then what i need to do the in place editing option is minus i so i need to specify the minus i option so scd minus i minus f del scripts dot scd mini insurance dot txt okay so this should have done the in place editing in place editing means what we should have done the change with respect to the file itself okay so the file had 30 lines right and now how many lines are there in the file wc minus l many insurance dot txt there are 26 lines and if you look at the file then those four lines wouldn't be there whatever four lines we had removed earlier whatever that earlier whatever was fifth line 11th line 15th line 23rd lines they will not be there so you can try for yourself okay these uh, commands these options okay so this is in place editing with regard to um, <coughs> Uh, performing delete operation okay so what all we have learned how do you perform the delete operation how do you delete a range of uh, lines how do you delete based on the context addressing 
how do you delete a set of lines that is set of discrete lines like like intermittent lines like third line 12th line 15th line like that how do you do that so what are the two ways of doing that how do you achieve it by specifying multiple scripts wherein you need to specify the special option minus c wherein every script needs to be prefixed with minus c option yes that we saw then what if you want to put all these scripts in a file and then uh, specify that file name in place of the scripts that is a script file that is called as a script file uh, so then how do you do that you can sp you can prefix that script file with a minus f option so that scd understands that this is the script file which has to be executed on the input file okay fine uh, the, that should be executed on the pattern space that is uh, um, that scd creates and uh, loads every line from the input file to the pattern space and then executes the commands on the line in the pattern space and then uh, takes the appropriate action that is printing on the monitor sending the output to the output file that is a monitor okay that is how it works so let us move on to the next thing like what if i want to do something like this let us understand this particular scenario uh, like i have uh, this uh, minus n mini insurance.txt okay i have this file okay so here what i want to do is that okay there are 26 lines okay okay what i want to do is that okay uh, whichever uh, <coughs> uh, whichever client okay whichever client okay um, or from apartment okay whichever client or from apartment i don't want to uh, i don't want to display those clients uh, other than apartment all the other clients details i want to display okay other than just accept apartment so this is an exceptional option other than apartment i want to display the uh, records of all the other clients from this file mini insurance.txt so how can we do that this is an exceptional option the same thing we could have done with the grep command grep with the minus v option grep minus v that is hyphen v then apartment input file name so it is going to uh, get me all the other records other than the records containing apartment the same thing can we achieve uh, using a cd yes we can very well do that how do we do that let us see that yes cd okay then you give the whatever you want to search okay let me now tell you one more thing what if that apartment you are getting it from the user okay In, and you are assigning it to a variable you are reading from the user and assigning to a variable so let us write a script for that okay so vi Okay, vi um, exceptional or non apartment dot sh something non apartment scd dot sh okay i'm giving the i'm specifying the script name like this okay i colon exclamation type bash slash user slash bin slash backs so what i do hash bang slash usr slash bin slash bash okay here i want to ask the user to enter the type of the client so what i do i echo enter type of of uh, residence of a type of client fine then i give the minus n option so that it suppresses the new line and the cursor blinks on the same line right the read command input it expects on the same line so read read ins client type insurance client type right okay ins client type so ins client type variable would contain that input 
now with scd okay when i want to tell that get me all the other records other than the records containing the that particular insurance client type that the user has entered okay i want to tell that then how i can do that i can specify slash dollar okay ins client type okay then not okay, p then what i should do okay here what i should do hyphen n option because you are giving the action as p right Hi. then come here and then here you specify the name of the file echo hyphen n or i'll just assign it to the variable okay uh, input file equal to okay mini underscore insurance dot txt i believe right okay so then here you just specify dollar input file okay echo script over okay let us have a look at the script non apartment scd dot sh so what we are doing first we are giving the shebang line okay and then uh, enter type of insurance client then read ins client type input file equal to so and so whatever is the name of the input file let us just verify that yes the file name is mini underscore insurance dot txt correct mini underscore insurance dot txt fine but the file the name of the script file is not meaningful because we are accepting any client type not just apartment so i'll just give i'll just change the name of let let us name it give it a relevant name non apartment scd dot sh i will give a re relevant name okay hmm. scd scd sample you can give it a relevant name I am just giving it as scd sample dot sh. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let us work with this script and check. Okay. So we need to give execute permission. U plus x scd sample dot sh. Okay. Dot slash scd sample dot sh. It's asking for the type of insurance client apartment. So it is getting me all the the records of all the clients whose type of the um, residence is not apartment okay see none of the records have got the apartment okay whose type is not apartment so it's getting all those things how how do we do that so what is the command which does it so let us look at it once again scd sample so that is the main part here that is so we need to give not p there is whatever is the type that when you are negating it means that okay whichever record doesn't contain that type print it that is the meaning of it okay if you are not giving this not no then it will mean like that type then print so whichever record contains the type print it so when you want to negate it put a negation symbol but in this script also there is an issue what is that let us suppose i am not worrying about the case i am giving all lower case apartment so it will still get me all those apartments how it, why this is happening because it is case sensitive okay it is not ignoring the case but what if you want to ignore the case so let us look at it how do we ignore the case so if you want to ignore the case then immediately after giving the pattern you need to specify the okay hyphen capital i option which will ignore the case now let us try to execute the script okay now i am executing the script apartment so 
so now does does it display any record which contains the pattern apartment no it doesn't because now it is ignoring the case now the script is ignoring the case cat scd sample dot sh because i gave the capital i i gave the a capital i would ignore i think i earlier mentioned as hyphen capital i so uh, it is not hyphen capital i just capital i okay that was a uh, slip of the tongue so it is just capital i so when you are specifying a capital i that would ignore the case that way you can ignore the case in the uh, pattern so whatever pattern you are given so it will ignore the case and it will uh, after ignoring the case it will check in the input file and then accordingly it will give the output so what all we have learnt one thing we have learnt is that negation that is a exceptional option so all the lines that don't contain the pattern then pattern but with ignore case print it so other thing we learnt is ignore case that is when you are succeeding that uh, pattern now with the capital i then it will ignore the case okay in the while looking for the matching pattern from the input file okay so this is what it does so i believe you have understood about the uh, exceptional case like how do we uh, do the uh, exceptional pattern search okay even with regard to d action also we can do the same right okay like like uh, i want to remove the all the other lines other than the lines containing the pattern uh this particular insurance client type then what i do instead of p i specify d that's it and you don't specify the minus n option so that way you can achieve deleting all the other lines other than the lines containing the pattern uh of that particular type that you have specified okay so i believe you would have understood about the exclamation symbol the purpose of specifying the exclamation symbol uh you prefixing that symbol with the action so uh, no um, prefixing the action with that symbol okay i i should i told the other way around prefixing that action with that exclamation symbol that way you are able to achieve this okay uh, next we are going to learn how are we going to read a files contents into another file and how we are going to write uh, uh, the output of a particular file um based on the condition into a new file okay we are going to learn about these two commands next let us understand about the r that is a read command okay for that we will take help of some text files one is city info.txt another is city message.txt what if i want to do something like this city info.txt look at the city info.txt this something like the name of the city and then what is it is what it is known for name of the city what it is known for name of the city what it is known for like that so on so forth okay so a set of cities followed by what it is known for so and then there is one file called city message.txt so let us just have a look at it cat city message.txt okay so some message hi all the above cities are traditional cities what if i want to do something like this in the context of output after the at the end of the city info.txt i want to put this particular city message.txt contents i want to read the city message.txt into the into that other file city info.txt but at the end of that file i want to read this and write to that file how do you do that is there any uh, way is there any option provided by a cd to do so yes there is an action in fact not option there is an action uh, provided by a cd for doing this particular task how do we do that we do that with the help of read command scd okay then after the last line of the input file okay dollar means after the last line of the input file read read what the file city message dot txt dot txt okay and what is the input file city info dot txt so this will mean what you know 
dollar would mean the addressing of the this input file meaning after the last line of this input file read read what this file city message.txt so the entire file city message.txt it will read after where dollar so this would mean in case if you are giving instead of dollar if you are giving two that is after the second line of the file city info.txt it would read this contents of city message.txt but now i have specified dollar so that would do what after the last line of the file city info.txt it would read this content of the city message.txt and place it uh, in the context of the pattern space in the context of the output okay so none of the files are going to get affected with this particular command okay so let us execute this and verify okay let us give the single quote yes okay so give it in single quote okay don't give it in double quote okay so single quote so now what is the content of city info.txt the entire content okay and after the last line of the after the last line of city info.txt what it has done it has put the contents of it has read the contents of city message.txt okay and then placed it okay in the context of the output fine right okay so this is the r command so here instead of dollar if you would have given something like 3 what would have done it would have done after the third line of the input that is after darward it has put high all the cities are uh, traditional cities whatever it is okay so giving some even number would be meaningful because we should not separate the city from its speciality for uh, maybe after darward peda it is putting this message so whichever line you specify i gave dollar so after the last line it has read the content of city message.txt so I believe you would have understood about the uh, significance of the R command. Okay. Then, what if I want to do something like this? Okay. I want to, uh, from a file, from a particular input file, I want to, okay, get all the lines containing a particular pattern. Okay. I want to select all the lines containing a particular pattern. Those lines I want to write to some other file. See, if you want to do that one way of doing that is in uh, that is uh, there is you want to write to some other file you don't want that file to be affected so one way of doing that is that you can do the output redirection but scd provides a command for that so that is another way of doing it how do you do that let us see that okay let us suppose that uh, from mini insurance.txt let us just display the contents of mini insurance.txt from mini insurance.txt i want to write to another file uh, all the lines containing the pattern uh, hospitality okay i want to write to another file okay then what i will do scd okay uh, hospitality w hospitality dot txt okay mini insurance dot txt Let us see whether our file hospitality.txt has been created. ls l hospitality. Dot, yes, it has been created. Cat hospitality.txt. These two lines are returned to the file hospitality.txt. You can just verify it. Okay, see for example 100453. Yes, that is there. 100385. Okay, check it whether it is there. 100385 yes that is also hospitality so these are the two hospitality records there are no other hospitality records right right correct okay so these two hospitality records have been written to this particular hospitality.txt just look at the command that we have given said hospitality okay look for the lines that contain the pattern hospitality write those lines to hospitality.txt but where to look for the lines containing hospitality 
in this mini insurance.txt in this input file look for the lens containing hospitality and write that output to hospitality.txt so that is what we have done here okay so i believe you would have understood about the uh, right action so even in this write, read and write action no what we can uh, even in this um, read and write action we can do the negation there is exclamation okay so you can try that out okay so i will leave it to you as an uh, as an exercise okay so in this session what all we have learned we have learned about the delete command we, we have learned about the read command we have learned about the write then negation there is exceptional option then hyphen e option hyphen f option hyphen e and hyphen f for executing multiple scripts fine I am going to take you on, a, on an exciting journey of lot more uh, very vital concepts of SED. So stay tuned to our videos. Thank you. We will see you again in our next session. Just want to share a thought with you. Let's turn our face to the sun and the shadow will fall behind us. So let us always be confident and that will always fetch us success. With this, I conclude this video session.